Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love and romance relationship reading for March to March to April even. <laughs> March to April 2021 for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading, Gemini and pull your overarching energy or message as we always do for the next month or two. So what do we have, Angel Spirits Guides, for Gemini? In love, romance, relationships, March to April 2021. Okay. We have the Chariot, card of victory. Uh, card of cancer as well. For some of you, you might be dealing with a cancer. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to pull three cards, Gemini, and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take, as always, what resonates with you. Okay, so what do we have for our lovely Geminis in love, romance, relationships, Angel Spirits Guides? March to April 2021. Okay, thank you. Two cards there. Okay, Gemini, we have your card and we have the Three of Swords, but it's in the challenge position. We have the Magician. And we have the King of Pentacles. Okay. Magician is also your ruler, Mercury. So a lot of influences that are associated with your sign in this reading, which is nice. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Gemini. What do we have for Gemini? Message for Gemini, thank you. Can we clarify the cards on the table? For Gemini in love, March to April 2021, thank you, angels, spirits, guides. Message for Gemini, thank you. Message for Gemini, thank you. Thank you, okay. There's three cards here, Gemini, two of swords, six of pentacles and the hanged man. Seven of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles we have with the Lovers. Bottom of the deck we have the Six of Cups here, Gemini. Okay, 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 okay. I'm, I'm getting this energy, you know, the chariot is a card of overcoming. Um, it's a card of overcoming challenge, obstacles, and the victory is claiming a barrier. Now it can't claim in a victory. Now it can well be for some of you that the barrier is, can be your own internal energy. It can also be something in your external environment. The chariot is both. It's a journey within and it's also a journey externally. So for some of you, it might well be something that you've been dealing with in your own internal energy, but also something externally that's affected your life that you needed to overcome the message is that you will overcome it. You know, the chariot is a card of, of um, definitely taking the reins of something, charging ahead and overcoming some kind of challenge to victory and success by sheer determination, force of will, action and taking control. So for some of you, there is definitely this energy of you are taking control of something or there is a need to take control of something in the next month or two to do with love, romance, relationships.
because the lovers uh, the three of swords I mean this can be something causing you emotional pain in terms of love romance relationships Gemini now this is your sign so there's definitely I mean this can be linked to third party situations heartbreak some truth come into light here but it is to do with it can be to do with two people it can be to do with third party situations like I said and the difficulty in not seeing how something's going to play out here it feels like you're waiting to see how you take action you know because for some of you there is definitely this energy of I'm definitely getting in this energy definitely getting this energy I mean this can be about difficult decisions um but the hanged man is waiting the hanged man is a uh, I'm not quite moving forward because things aren't quite ready for me to move forward. I'm still making up my mind. I don't have the full clarity to make a decision or choice. Um, and again, the, the Six of Pentacles can be a give and take energy. It can be listening and receiving information uh, and speaking your truth. Um, it can be a give and take energy. But it can also be about where you want to put your energy and time now what you want to put your energy into and what you don't want to put your energy into there's definitely this energy there's definitely this feeling of some kind of difficult decision or choice to make but you're just waiting until things become clear because you haven't got the full clarity of the situation The Magician Energy, Gemini, is a card of transformation. Uh, it's a card of manifestation, changing something negative to positive, an idea to reality, base metal to gold. And you're wondering in this situation, can I transform this situation for the better? Because it feels like a relationship that you've put a lot of time and energy into. It's not like a few weeks or even a few months. This feels like a considerable amount of time that you've spent with somebody and you've put a lot of effort and energy into that relationship. It feels like a committed relationship here. So you're wondering if you can transform the situation. Again, this can be a card of communication as well. Um, hearing each other out to make some to take stock or make, you know, to help get the facts together in terms of making some decision choice. But it feels like there is some kind of evaluation that's going on here. Um, I'm going to take my time to really look at this test, this challenge that I've, you know, that has hurt me, that has caused me emotional pain. I've put so much energy and time into this relationship. So it is an energy of can you, do you, is the history of the relationship strong enough or a value enough? to salvage something and it feels like that's what can this be salvaged and that's what you're not clear on in this energy that's what I'm definitely getting in this energy that you're not quite 100% sure of right now and there's still some kind of the message is take your time you have the power to manifest a new path for yourself you have the power to even bring breathe new magic into it feels like a relationship it feels like there is some kind of like consideration evaluation going on here Gemini taking stock of what's of value to in your life now and what's not of value what's worth your time and energy and what's not worth your time and energy Yeah. Because the, the Six of Cups is a card of revisiting the past. Can be memories, nostalgia. Can also be somebody from the past coming back into your life. So in this case, it will be somebody who 
hurt you before and there may well be new communication they may be might be reaching out here um, in which case if it is somebody from the past they might be reaching out and you're evaluating because you do have history with them and you're wondering if this is something that you can manifest a new relationship with I'm definitely getting this energy, Gemini, of, I mean, the King of Pentacles is Taurus energy. We have Cancer here. Um, your, your sign is coming up very, very strongly. The King of Pentacles is a card of stability, security, solidity. He means what he says, you know. Uh, there's no wind and trousers with the King of Pentacles. He is just what he says he is, you know. Um, he speaks his mind. He says the truth. There's no mind games and all, you know, ulterior motivations with the King of Pentacles. So generally what the King of Pentacles says is what you can trust. Um, male or female energy with that King of Pentacles, but it's somebody who is solid, stable, secure, uh, can be head of household energy in male or female energy. Somebody who is very successful in terms of money and career. Somebody who understands their own worth, their own self-esteem. So for some of you, I mean, it feels in this energy, Gemini, this is either you knowing your own worth, you know, you bringing your own st stability and security back into your life. But definitely for some of you, there could be a reconnection to somebody, building uh, something solid, stable, secure with some someone. Um, and it feels like it's somebody from the past who maybe there was some kind of... hurt, emotional pain caused you. This feeling of being in limbo, of not quite moving on here, Gemini as well. Um, it feels like there's some kind of indecision here. I mean, the Six of Cups is also a card of joy, reconnecting to the joy and the happiness. So, again, yeah, just I literally, I, I pull the card down slightly and I saw the sun. So this is a card of coming through the other side of a, an obstacle. You can see the wall. So it feels for some of you, you have the opportunity to come through the other side of the obstacle, the barrier, and again, definitely this energy of getting back on track. Remember that the Sun card is a card of healing, restoration, uh, good news, celebration, finding the happiness again. And this is also a card of finding the joy. So it feels more to do with finding the joy the more I look at it. Fi reconnecting to the joy, reconnecting to the happiness, overcoming some kind of obstacle. Now the obstacle has either been in the relationship it could have been a third thing that's affected your relationship as well. Obviously, things like money and career can affect relationships. Health can affect relationships. Um, so, you know, and obviously within the relationship, even hurts third party situations. For some of you, you may have dealt with one of those areas, but it definitely feels for some of you that there is enough history there there is enough history there, enough value there to give something another go. And I definitely feel for some of you that's what this reading is all about. There is enough value there, there is enough history there, uh, the past, you know, nostalgia, memories, to come through the other side of a situation and find and re-establish this sense of stability and trust. So that's definitely what I'm feeling here, Gemini. And you know, look at this. Look, bottom of the deck, the chariot. So two chariots now. So this is about you will be victorious. You will overcome that which is the obstacle in the relationship and come through the other side. You'll come through the other side. And feel really good about it. Reconnect to the joy and happiness. So, like I said, it's either something in the relationship or this third thing that I'm really feeling quite strongly. But it feels for some of you, you're turning a corner. There is a really nice turning point coming here, which is leading to success, overcoming it, getting back on track. 
Wow, quite a powerful reading for some of you. There just seems to be a lack of clarity here. Things waiting for something or something not quite completed or finished. Maybe some unfinished business as well here, Gemini as well. Um, but I'm definitely getting in this energy that whatever obstacle you faced, there is enough value and love there to come through the other side of something. This is a card of perseverance as well. So certainly to do with a third thing, health, um, money, the perseverance leads to success. I mean, this is a great card of money. Um, yeah, and a feeling of stability and security coming back in whichever area. So I definitely feel this energy, Gemini, of whatever is challenging you, you have the opportunity to overcome it. Final message for Gemini, please. Final message for our lovely Geminis, thank you. Yeah, we have Spider Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver, tune into the energetic grids around you. Where can you send your energy for healing? See, some healing there. Yeah. <laughs> I love this energy. We have Golden Unicorn, Ascension, Awaken to your soul's potential. See what I mean? There's a rising above this, rising. Um, and again, that sun rising is just reconfirming that energy. Uh, rising, reconnecting to the happiness. I'm definitely getting this energy, Gemini, of, of you'll be able to rise above something, overcome it. Very beautiful energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.